Big commitment in the pistol round. They're out on the catwalk, and now they've been spotted, so the fake has definitely been called. They know what's coming here. And Dupree opening up and taking down Fur is a good beginning, but the battle is not done yet. Four versus five, and Tarek and Dupree now having a bit of a fight down there in the pit's glaive as well. They want to see if they can find him, and Tarek feeling the pressure right now, and he's eventually going to get the kill. Oh, oh my god, the real. Oh, he takes him down as well. They had him boxed and locked in the corner. And he fights his way out, getting the reload. They ran out of bullets. And now Device is down here, wants to see if he clean it up. He's one bullet away here, Tarek. So it could be back in a three-on-three. Three. Still need that bomb plant. So now 40 seconds. What a way to begin now. Three-on-three, three, sip in the middle. Stewie going to be peeking him. Look at the wrong angle, but he does stay alive. And now good movement here. Magis right over the barrel to take down Fallen. And they're running out of players. They need to make this work right now. 28 seconds. And they're still walking back and forth. They haven't really committed yet. I think they might run out of time now. Device is going to be on the bomb site, ready and waiting. Stewie going to be instantly taken down. And now it's all on Colts here, as you said. The best player in the world, 16, 17. But now he's going to have to tip it up. One versus three with 10 seconds. And oh my god, he does get the headshot. Device will take him down. And that's the bomb site. Just going to force out some grenades early on. This isn't really an attempt to try and get through Ooh. and fall. And oh, taking down device. He was really quick on the catwalk. Beautiful stuff. Look at the speed of this as well. The Molotov as well. Zipnix is going to find an angle. There's two players here. They're actually doing a reverse boost. Oh, it backfires. That is kind of a cool idea. Difficult to pull off. And I don't think they were expecting two players to pinch in. Glaive is still all alone, though, because of Zipnix rotating over. Tarek waiting outside long, but they need this kill inside the bomb site. No one's considering it just yet. Glaive's gonna have a free shot. He gets the kill. First taking out Zipnix, but he can't win the follow-up. And Tarek, he was being patient. He's trying to be the lurker. He's trying to take out anyone on railing if they have that issue, and now it just kind of falls flat. A clutch situation that he's got to win, and that smoke is gonna be difficult for him. One in CT spawn, he tries to find it to breathe, tapping away with the M4. He's been Another doing it a couple of times, but it really does help out. Fallen, the shadow gonna be showing, and the free fire is in. That was very dangerous because Fallen could have absolutely hit that shot. The Molotov and Grenade combo there, taking down Stewie and MIBR having a hard time finding the entries, which is usually not the problem that you have on uh, on Dust2 on the T side. Jump down through the smoke and Tarek will open up, but Device with a return. Pistols out, close range against Tarek and he's almost going to get it done. Now, <laughs> yeah, he wanted to pick up that AWP, but he's just having a lot of trouble. And Glee will take him down. 6-0. and oh. And... So on the other side, he's edging his way in. Smoke going to make that AWP very hard to use, and she could be calling for a bit of backup. He's just going to leave the bomb site. Doesn't really want to fight it, just hoping for one kill as they cross, and he's going to get it to perfectly played, especially Sip picked up the other one. Now just jumping on over. Oh. Shot almost connected. That was very scary. Three on five, though, and ten seconds left. MIBR. This is the B bomb site, and it can be held with three people. It's not easy. But if you get a couple of entries, it's definitely going to work. Tarek, one health left down here in the grenade follow-up. And I think that was their one chance. Maybe they had to have three alive. Two on five seems absolutely impossible. Fallen, ready for this flank. But he's still going to get shot in the face. And oh my god! What just happened? You smoke off the cross, you get over. We haven't really even seen them in a position to do this. So Device is going to be jumping on oh over. God. He sees every single one and takes down Fallen. He's back for a bit more. The spray through actually does a lot of damage, and Device is a little bit in trouble here. He's going to finally go down, sip with the refrag, and it's still a 2 on 4, and still looking very good at the moment here for the Astralis team. They need that bomb plant. I can't really blame them for wanting to look for another kill before they do, because it's just so risky. Now they've got the bomb, but they can't exit the site, and this is sort of the theory of playing on the A side. You want to get the bomb plant, but then try and get somebody off the site so you can maybe defend it a bit more from range. Fur trying to look for the shot here with the AK-47. Cold Sierra picks up one good headshot. A lot of damage. This could actually work out, but Meg is coming in from long. Now Cold is all alone with just 32 health left. One versus two, and he's going to get taken down. Such an effort in that round, but it's not enough. He's looking like nope. he's going for more. He's hungry, Magis. This might be the first time that he doesn't realize what's coming ahead of time. Oh, almost transfers over, but the mice is here. He's here so fast, and the rest of Astralis crunching on this hit. It's just Stewie, and he handles Device. Over aggression, over peaking from Device, and Stewie with six health against an AWP. It doesn't really matter. Surely here he gets taken down, but Dupree, another AWP. The positions of these sniper rifles have backfired. The Molotov, though, might do it. Stewie's gonna burn. Oh, that is completely heartless, and Glaive will take down Fallen. They're really not leaving themselves a lot of time to make this push happen. Great flashbangs, great follow-up, and Tarek taking down a kill. Now it's Device. He's so trapped right now, just fighting to stay alive, but Sip is doing all the work on the other side, getting a quick double in. It's now Dupree. 
They don't have a smoke to cross it. They're quickly running out of time. Ten seconds. They've got to make this run. The bomb is on the other side. He gets one. And Cold Zero. He's looking for the fight. Dupree will take him down. Crushing all of the hope. Three kills right now. Fur has got one. Flashbang catches Sip, but it's going to be on in time to pick up that one kill. So four and three has fallen. Oh, oh that's a nice shot. Taking down Device. That was a job well done. The Glaive is still there, and now 38 seconds as no they try and get across. Yeah, no smoke again. So they're going to try and see if they can run boost Cold Zero. This is a bit of a dream, and he does get caught in the middle of the lane. Bomb is down. Headshot from Glaive to follow it. He's at <laughs> it's literally all you can do. Leave no man behind. It doesn't really work in Counter Strike, apparently. Glaive and Meg is following up, and they did try and go back and get him, and it's just not working out. Fallen and Stewie, two versus four. Looking at a 15 and 0 half in favor of Astralis. This is definitely a whole nother level that they've been playing well enough in this tournament, but we haven't seen this so far. It's it's a little bit intimidating, I'm not going to lie. I mean, also, this is, you have to remember, too, this is why a lot of teams have stayed away from Dust2, even though it is a map that, in terms of, you know, the skeletal structure is, is very much the same. Just no one really knows who's... Who's good and who's not on it yeah. at all times? Like it's that deep into the into the teams. So a lot of guys just don't don't want to mess with it. And obviously now we get the idea. And you know, Astralis certainly no one's gonna dare them. Maybe big. That could well be good idea for the boost. But the vice will take him down anyway. No laughing allowed, Moses. Stewie now in a one versus four. It's not laughter. It's, it's scoffing. It's what are you supposed to do against Device when he's playing like this? What an obstacle. What just a brick wall at this A bomb site that he's been this entire game. And even Zipnik's the support from Ramp has been for Sure, sure. I'm glad it ended up there. Let's see. Oh, well done. Smeggy's just not even not even a chance is there. Can we get the, the full fifteen round reverse sweep Moses? <laughs> I'm in the mood for that kind of that kind of game. That kind of uh, that kind of freaky stuff. Yeah. We'll see. Here comes a pop flash out mid. Cold Zero might eat it right in the face, but he's more than capable of getting back in the cover. Delayed mid to B smoke, spamming through. When you're down 15-0 as well, it might force some rotations that normally it wouldn't. They're going to come up, and Cold Zero is still in CT spawn. They might need to do this. Tarek out in the open. It's going to be tough for him to adjust, but he's at least got Cold Zero to distract, and I think he's done it. Good response from Dupree. Fallen now at range. Two kills down from IVR. Flanked from long, and finally, that Astralis pinch does its job. There is a late flank coming in from Stewie. Fur going to pick up the headshot there. Oh no, Dupree taking down Fur. Now it's all on Stewie. One versus two, avoiding the 16 and 0. Oh, you definitely don't want that. Whatever else happens, just take that little bit of pleasure away from them. Stewie crouching on in, looking for Sip. Instant headshot. Just one left, and Dupree will take him down.